Hey guys, welcome to Pac-Man TV. My name is Coco. You are now in the building, ready for... More than music. This is our first ever episode and we have Axel Blake in the house and this is an exclusive... Ba -ba -ba -ba. They don't realise. We're so excited today. I just want you guys to get to know Axel and find out more about him and we want to inspire you and let you know that there's more than just music. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Tune in. Alright, I just want to say a big thank you to Axel for coming because yesterday was a very tough day for you and even the last week you've been going through a lot mm. and you're still here, you made it from yeah. my show and it's an exclusive because you don't do podcasts no, or no, no, interviews, no, I'm, I'm, so yeah. I'm so grateful. <laughs> no worries, thank you. Thank you. No okay, so let's get into it. How did you get into comedy? <sighs> what made me get into comedy? I would say, what year was this? It was the year 2009, so about 2008 is when um, I was around, I was a little naughty kid, innit? So I just wanted a new scene and I decided to go to this comedy show, Hackney Empire. You're from East, innit? Yes, that's when my first comedy show was. I Seriously? saw Richard Blackwood in there, that yeah. was the first time. Yes, yeah, so I see, I see, I saw Slim in there, I saw Slim in there and I saw um, this guy JCX and Slicks. They don't really do comedy now, but yeah, I just was amazed. I was like, this is the one! <laughs> And then um, from there, I decided, um, let me give it a try. And then I just kept trying. My first few times, I flopped big time. As it does, yeah, as, as it goes. It, yeah. And then um, after that, I just kept going and going and going. And then. When you first had your fail, let's say, your first L, how yeah. did it feel and what made you push yourself to carry on? Other comedians warned me that um, that will happen. They warned me and said, you're going to flop. Like, it happens. It's like... It's like driving and never hitting that. a... You know what I mean? That's, that's part of the experience, isn't it? That's part of growing to be like, I'm an experienced driver. So it was one of those things. You have to have that little that little low bit. and But it, it, it's a weird feeling. It's a weird feeling because it's like... like now if it happens, I don't, I don't give two shits. Because it's like, I know... I know me and I know my comedy. Yeah, so yeah, I know yeah. what bangs and what don't bang. So if it don't flop, if it flops, I, I already know I right, could be to do, I don't know, could be to do <laughs> the tone or whatever. But when you first do your jokes and it don't hit and you see people there looking at you. Oh. Yeah. Oh, it's just you on that stage as you well. You won. What do you do in that moment? You got, carry, you got your five <laughs> minutes, you got your 10 minutes, you got your 20 minutes. When you first start out, you got three to five minutes. Okay. Yeah. So that's when you first start, but you got your... You got Where your was your first show? Uh, High Wickham. Okay. Back then I used to call it High Wy Combi. Because <laughs> the way <laughs> it's spelled... Funny spelling. Yeah, and I remember that was one of my first jokes. I can't remember how I worded it, but I said I came on... Hello, Wy Combi, or whatever like that. What did they do? I can't remember. <laughs> I, I feel like they laughed, but I, I can't remember. How many shows have you actually done up what? to this point? I have no... I, <laughs> you ain't been counting? No. <laughs> I mean, counting. Give me an estimate. Hundreds. Hundreds. Easily hundreds. Because right, it, it's been 13 years and I've got a show all the time. Even this week, I've got three shows. You know, so it's You've got a show, sold out show coming out. So what? Coming up. The one. Um, where is it? Is it in O2? Um, O2. Yeah, so my good Tried friend. Tried to get my tickets. Yeah. So I was like, go, <laughs> go on. on. Go on. <laughs> yeah, so my good friend Mo, yeah, we came up on the scene together and uh, he, Mo's a big deal. Yeah, he's Mo a funny guy. He's a machine. So uh, Mo does every end. It was it's looking like because this is only the second one. It's looking like at the end of every year he does the Black British Takeover, which is at O2 Arena. That's a big listen. People don't that when I saw you know when you said the three thousand seats for your show. Yeah, I was yeah. like, whoa, this is yeah. big when I saw yeah. it filled. And then I looked at the seat and plan yeah. for that. I was like, whoa, seventeen thousand people. And it's Mo. Yeah, Mo. I salute Mo. You know. It must be a nice feeling to have that many seats filled up and having the whole room laugh. Like, that must be such an impactful feeling. Yes. Okay, I really enjoyed your show, by the way. Thank so you. I know your shows are going to go well. You're booked and busy. Come on. We love to see it. Furthermore, with you being booked and busy, I'm going to give you one of your presents now. So. Oh, wow. Let's go. Mr. Axel is booked and busy all the time. Mm. So I thought I'd bring a few goodies for my special guests. They all get a treat. Oh, wow. Thank you. So, so because you're booked and busy, oh, you get a planned yeah. diary <laughs> to make sure you get your stuff organised. Oh, thank you. That's going to be filled up. Yes. <laughs> 2023. I like that. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, so who is your biggest inspiration? Oh, my gosh. 
You should have known that one was coming. Yeah, no, <laughs> it's just that I got... It depends on what. And if we're talking about comedy... Tell me your comedy. It would be... Um, Kevin Hart for his business sense. Uh, Kevin Hart and his business... He's got deals with Nike. He's the first comic to ever get a deal with Nike. Really? I think the first comic to sell out Madison Square Garden. He does movies. He, does, he tries to do a one-man show every year. Like, he's just clothing brand he's got a tequila brand he's businessman he's doing his thing yeah who was um, your biggest inspiration in general then yes i was gonna go into that um well sorry in terms of comedy is in performing i'd say richard Pryor. i'd say bernie mac Legend. i love me um michael mcintyre like i respect their craft and their writing their writing's crazy um in general in general, I like, so I listen to a lot of um, motivational speakers. There's a guy called John Road, um, I listen to. And um, yeah, I just, I, I like, I like, I like, and uh, Robert Kiyosaki. Uh, listen to a few of his and read some of his books. Is he the one that wrote um, Rich, Rich Dad, Dad Poor Dad? I love that book. That book yeah. changed my life. Same. So that book completely changed my Assets life. Assets over liabilities, trust right? Me, trust <laughs> me. Teaching my son that. I'm Definitely t- read that book. Trust me. <laughs> so it's helped me. Um, it's helped me dive into the world of um, business and um, look at um, assets and liabilities in a different way. But um, 100%. I think. Uh, yeah, Robert Kiyosaki. Um, I would, I would say no. You know, I would say it's just one name to cover everyone is Kevin Hart because people don't understand how much of a businessman he is, as well as how much of a great comic he is. I feel and like he, he changed the game for comedy as well, pretty much. Hundred percent, and he became a meme. A lot of people in our uh, don't want to be a meme, well, yeah. of course, because he's just a normal. <laughs> if you're a comedian and you become a meme, that is a big deal. That's that's great. Because you're comedy anyway, you're comedian, that, that's good. So, and he was a, you remember that like, years back, he was a meme. He was, yeah. He, he's, his photos was always, yeah. So Especially um, every show he did, it was like a new meme yeah, come out for yeah, it. Yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, they're, they're, they're my guys. Nice. Okay, so what is your proudest moment or moments so far? Hmm. Proudest. It has to be winning Britain's Got Talent. Yeah. It has to be. That's a big, big, big It's job. changed my life. It completely changed my life. It's rewritten the game. You know, no, at first I got a golden buzzer. I don't know if you... So, yeah. first you get the golden buzzer, um, which is that um, when, a, con, when a, a judge kind of, you know, assigns itself to a, a contestant. Okay. Like, look out for that. But no golden buzzer has ever won. Usually it's the underdog or someone else has come through okay. that wins. <coughs> Sorry. Um, and then I was Simon Cowell's going to buzzer at that. And I went on to win. Mm-hmm. Against all odds. Against a 13 year old kid and a school teacher. And then, yeah, it was crazy. By how much I won by, when I saw the voting records, I thought, what? How much was it? Like, it was ridiculous. Seriously? Yeah, go and click, like, so there was no chart, yeah. So, you know, it's changed the game. So it's just, um, it's a, it's a huge moment. And they've said, even Britain's Got Talent, because we're cool, we're good. I like, mean, Simon, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the richest man. He went to his house. It's a resort. It's a resort. Oh my gosh. A full on resort. Hey, Simon. <laughs> <laughs> if you're watching. <laughs> and um, he, um, yeah, he's just, yeah, co signing me is it's crazy. That's a big deal. Yeah, That's no, a so big, big deal. Big deal. I would say that one. And it's made my son proud. My son was there every step, the audition, the semi, the final. Aww, that's <coughs> that's a good won. inspiration for him what? as well. If I tell him watch the dish, he watches the dish. <laughs> no, there's nothing back. And before? Yeah, before, oh, dad, I'm playing, <laughs> uh, playing my Xbox and all that now. He listens now, boy. Oh, that's good. Mm. That's good. That's good. All right, so on your playlist, what is on repeat right now? I'm going to be honest with you, I'm quite a focused individual, so. I don't like being distracted by things that I feel like waste my time. So, like, if I've got something to focus on, I'm not watching TV. I'm not playing music. Okay. I feel like I'm distracting myself from my goal. Okay. So, what would your advice be for anyone that wants to get into stand-up comedy? 
the biggest thing I've learned over the years is people are just they're scared to just make that jump that um, public speaking so many people are scared of public speaking so once I would say just stand on stage don't think about oh I need to be funny be able to be able to hold your five minutes it doesn't have to be funny so it's weird but I would say try hosting or just do a presentation just be be able to stand on stage okay. the funny is is, some, is like a filter that you can add later yeah, yeah. yeah but the biggest step is standing there and not be i can't do it do you know what people yeah. just can't even step on the stage that's a bigger hurdle than being funny you could you could uh be taught to be funny people okay, don't cool. know that you can literally be taught how to be funny so that public speaking barrier is the first step that is the biggest step okay that cool. is that step is so step. huge people don't realize the See funny that, is 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 easy to do that's just experience and time and understanding what makes people laugh cool yeah 100 percent. that's nice thank you nice. okay so your first show since britain's got talent sold out yeah did it meet or exceed your expectations and if so how uh, it did meet my expectations, but I said, yeah, it did. I held that to such a high standard because I'm from West London. Mm -hmm. yeah, I used to walk past Amazon Apollo as a kid back when it was a cinema. Yeah, and then to think that, right, I'm, I didn't even, I used to see that building as huge. And seen your name. And then now, you know what I mean? And it was just like, what? And But what well, I was a bit, um, uh, like, you know, upset because, you know, everything that was going on, um, recently in my personal life and then um and then the day that of the strike because that day uh listen i so, can't believe so many people came out with that I'm strike saying, i couldn't believe it because when i found out so my management put that in the group like weeks before because mm. all so my show was on a thursday yeah but the days of the strike was meant to be monday tuesday wednesday friday so i'm like yeah then they took off monday tuesday wednesday I friday left the i left the first the first day wasn't even the original yeah. day and they left it on that day and they're like we know axel's got a day so so I'm so saying, <laughs> people are against me man but um but we prevail we prevail you know we made it happen probably a sagittarius person or someone that done it don't even try it <laughs> i think it was those libras <laughs> So the fact that all those people came out, like it meant the world to me, because I I didn't want it to affect my 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 trail of thinking. Because before, mm -hmm. so before I perform, my ritual is silence. Like don't don't come don't come see me in the change room. Don't just leave me that that everyone in my team knows. So I can't have people do meet and greets before my show. Okay. Afterwards, I can't even have family come and be. Oh, everything is after. Like okay. right now, I'm 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 in the zone, tunnel vision. Yeah, I can't even hear. No, I need the headphones on. Yeah, with the um sound cancel noise cancellation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing. Just in my little meditation. All I need is just you just say. <laughs> that's it, and that's all I need that's before it. I step on. So the only time I saw everyone was when I stepped on stage. Okay. That was the only thing. So you didn't, didn't even know, know how much people was actually, I did, especially from seeing the day before, that saying. it wasn't completely full that's up. That's so what I was just, saying. And I'm not going to lie, obviously D-Ray and that have been in the game for yeah. like 30 years, so yeah. I expected um, a lot more people. Yeah. And obviously you've only now just come out, out yeah. to like the nation yeah. so much since the BGT, and that was this year. Yeah. And you literally sold what? Yeah. You sold out. It's crazy. 3,600. What can I say? That was even more than I thought. It was just three thousand. Nah, nah, nah. There you go. It's crazy. So yeah. That's what hard work gets you. Like yeah, consistency, no, persistency. Oh. I'm here for it. Okay, so is it true you have forty six siblings? Because I read that somewhere. You know, I think they got that. So my granddad. Mhm. Mm uh, eh, this was three years ago. He passed away. One hundred and seven. It was Stratford. No way! Yeah. And he had, he had twenty seven. Is it twenty seven kids or twenty twenty some kids? And then they had, they had yeah, more kids. So it was like forty six, forty seven, like grandchildren. Yeah. That's a that, lot. So that number, I just because I knew that number. I was like, that they number. mixed it up. Yeah. Because they didn't. Know, it said something like unknown, like family unknown, and things like that. So I thought, let me, yeah, no, no, let me no, find no, out. No, 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 no. All right, I've got two more questions for you. But before that, yeah. let's play a quick game. Yes, I'm ready. Okay, cool. Are you sure you're ready? I'm ready. You got, right. got surprised me. Well, Gemini, that, 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 that I'm ready for anything. <laughs> isn't it? So. 
Say no more. Gen Gemini energy. <laughs> Welcome to Coco's Quiz. This is the fire round where we'll be asking Axel a few questions. Yes. He has to pick either or. Yeah. I'm He's ready. got a minute to well, answer. Ready. I'm ready. You ready? I'm ready. You I, sure? Yeah, I'm right, not sure. Go but we'll, we'll, we'll go. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Pot of paper or Rimsy? Pot of paper. Brandy or whiskey? Brandy. Cash or card? Card. Trillery Banks or Nole? Nole, because of the video she done recently. I thought you just said that because you're from the ends. No, no, no. Well, like London. Yeah, yeah. 21 Savage or Nas? Nas. Roll on or Aerosol? Roll on. Hmm. Yeah. Netflix or Prime? <sighs> now Netflix. Radio One Extra or Capital One? Extra. Radio uh, One Extra. Okay, cool. Uh, podcast or music? Music. Bench art or tax free? What? I told you! Oh, no, 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 no. No, I didn't know it either. No, no, I know this, I know this. No, yeah, 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 yeah. What is it? Cl clothing brand. Okay, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you knew, you knew. Yeah, the tax free threw me off. <laughs> yeah. So but which one? I know Bench, Bench art. Bench art, yeah. Okay, cool. PlayStation or Xbox? PlayStation. Yes. Right answer. Yeah. <laughs> Action or comedy? I love me some. I, I'm a Marvel fan, innit? So, but that doesn't really have. Well, it does have comedy in it, but. You took out a movie, yeah? Yeah. And, oh, John Action. Knew it. <laughs> Alright, so. Missing your girl's birthday or forgetting your anniversary? Oh, there's some. There's more questions, like <laughs> because see, with the forgetting your anniversary, I feel like you can you can recover because you'd be like, yeah, you're still gonna argue, aren't you? I was gonna say, let's say you forgot your anniversary, like you know what today is, you're like, oh no, what is it? Instead of the, you can be like, shit, right? Do -do -do, I make something happen. Yeah. Yeah. But if you just miss your girl's birthday, that means the day's gone. And you've missed it. Like that is it's a new day. But do you know what it is? You haven't said why you've missed it. And I'm a very busy person. So sometimes <laughs> So I might go I'm There's gonna, no excuse. No, there is no excuse. <laughs> but it might I don't know. Miss no, your girl. No, because no, you haven't stated why you've missed it. You haven't stated why you've missed it. There's not a why. No, the, the, you missed your girl's birthday. <laughs> missed your girl's birthday. That's so which one are you going for? Missed your girl's birthday. Missed your girl's birthday. Yeah. So you, Okay, cool. You best not miss a birthday then. No, no, no. <laughs> no but there could be a all. reason. There could be a reason. No, because a birthday comes every year, so does the anniversary. Yeah. You should know that in advance. I do know that, but I don't know. I don't know. It just feels a bit more safer. <laughs> Which one we get less problems yeah. for? <laughs> Alright, Burner Boy or WizKid? Burner. Losing your house keys or being stranded with a dead battery in the middle of nowhere? Losing your house keys all day. Being stranded with no, do you know how much things you've got access to anything and everyone and any with your phone? Yeah, you can get home with your phone. You can call someone that's got a key. True, you can call a locksmith, locksmith. you can pay for the locksmith on your phone when you have no well, phone. That's true, you are pissed. I would rather lose my keys as well. Today. Yeah, and it's not like what I've realized with keys, like you can just buy another pair or whatnot. Yeah, 100%. but what I've realized is once you you feel like shit someone could get into my house for some odd reason you think they know unless you've got your address on your keys you, you know what i mean like it's if so i saw true. a pair of keys there, go by, just that's what i'm saying if i saw a pair of keys on the floor um do you know what i mean you think like shit oh my gosh but it's like you're not gonna but a phone now the phone is different you could do every you could do everything with your phone. i can the order thing food is... to my yard for my to my car because i'm stranded or wherever i am i can wherever Say to my ex, hey, I'm in the ends. <laughs> yeah. I need a couch. Gonna get in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so last two questions. That was a good game, by the way. Mm. What advice do you have for the viewers when it comes to following their dreams? I'd say go, go just go for it. But at the same time, you have to kind of hope for the best, but no, pray for the... No, which way is it? Prepare for the... Yeah, prepare for the best. 
Well, I prefer for the no. worst. But prepare for the best. That's, was pre for the best. That's the one. Let me say it. What's the one you said? Say it again. <laughs> Hope for the like best. Prepare for the worst. Yeah. Because some, I know with dream chasing, sometimes you put your all in, as in like, uh, uh, it's, it has to happen. There's nothing else. It has to happen. But unfortunately, sometimes it doesn't, the stars don't align like that. Yeah. And sometimes you can put yourself in such a horrible place because you are depending on that wholeheartedly. And sometimes it just might not be the right time or whatever reason, it's just not lining. But you've put your end. It has to, by any means necessary. I always um, go by that. When it's your time and when the time's aligned, it will happen. Yeah. So it's almost like still go for it. Yeah. But still understand. You know, it's like I got. Kind of how it was today. <laughs> so to go yeah, the whole week. Yeah, serious, yeah, because you still go for it. Because I got a few friends that are, are rappers, yeah. Like I got a one I know. He's a, he's been going for time, mm -hmm. and he's put his all in. He's a big man now, mm -hmm. a big man, and it's like he stopped other blessings because he's, he's chasing this one. Yeah, and it's like sometimes it just it just doesn't it's not. It's like football as well. I'm not really a football person, but the window of opportunity to become a footballer is so, yeah. but so many people are trying, are trying to, to fit through. through. And it's like, like, keep going, but just be prepared that it may, it may not and be And do that. not put all your eggs into one basket yeah. as well. That's yeah. why you said he probably missed yeah. out on other opportunities. Yeah, yeah man. Like, God, I, I don't know. It's hard because I understand the, the pro thought process of just going for it, yeah? Mm. Believing in it. But there's a part of it is where you just... Because it can mess you up. You have up. to give yourself a time limit as well. Mm. But at the same time, I, I disagree with that. Really? Yeah. So if you're doing the same thing, say... I've been say doing the same thing for 13 years. Yeah, I but look where you're at time. now. Now. What if it went another 13 years and you didn't get this break? But that's what I'm saying. But if I put my time limit at 10 years... 10 years oh, is a long... True. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, but I'm not saying, oh, when, when 10 years come, just give it up. I mean, like, then expand and maybe look at, while continuing to still do your thing. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I, it's weird because still chase it, but just, just understand. You just never know when your you time's coming though, isn't and it? And if it does come, not when, like if it does even come, yeah. you have to be prepared for, it may not, but I tried my, my best. That's what it is. At least try your whole heart, try your best, but just understand, you know, it may not. And that's, it's a hard conversation because, you know, you hear a lot of people like, I put my all into this, I, put, da, da, da. You hear, I hear it on the rap songs, I put my, and it's like, <laughs> yeah. But they bust through so that everyone else listened to it. It's like, like uh, my time's coming. Yeah. I hear you. I hear so. you. So, Axel, what is next for you? What can we expect from Axel? Um, so, what's going on with me? So, I'm touring through next year. Well, hey. Um, I think the tour ends um, yeah, April. Some news I'm about to put out after after this is I was in LA recently because I was filming for America's Got Talent All Stars, so that was a big deal. That's awesome. Yeah, but the All Stars is crazy. I mean, it, all the winners from because there's a lot of Got Talents. Australia's Got Talent, Philippines. Wait, got so talent. the whole like all, everywhere. Like, the, all the winners in the Golden oh, Bars. There were sixty of us battling. All winners and like the top. Can dons. we vote? I, no, it's not out yet. This January the second. When you do, when it comes out, yeah, we can we vote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. So it's um, but yeah, so that was a big deal. So that can that can change things. Uh, what else is going on? Um, I'm I'm looking for investment opportunities. Let me know. Um, I love investing. That's yeah. my thing on the side. Everyone's got their thing on I'm the side. Must talk to you about that. Yeah. <laughs> but to be fair. You know, it's mad because I've opened this this conversation before and I got flooded. But like, it's it's a certain type of investment. Yeah. What you know kind what of investments are you looking at? Are you looking at you know is, big scale, medium yeah, scale? Yeah, it depends on what big scale means to people. Like, I I invest in property. I, I, I was got, gonna say that's quite big. I got scale. quite a lot of property that I. Invest I did in. read that. Yeah, you yeah, do that's my property thing. development and yeah, stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, that's my thing. So, um, but then I suppose that is big scale. It depends on. Yeah, I suppose it is. But like, that is it's safe. Yeah. But then, then I get people like, I get people like, yo, I'm, I'm starting a table brand that like, I need 80k. Well, you know, the riskier, the riskier, the, you know what they Scared say in the money, book. don't make no money. Right. But I just wouldn't, you know, it's, it's just, it's, I don't know, it's the, it's the, it's the way they c come at me. 
Like, how are you just gonna make, no, it's, yo, literally, yo, bro, um, I'm starting a, I can hear the voice as well, <laughs> even though it's a message, yo, I'm starting a fucking, uh, tape, yeah, um, I need, this, literally. How would you like the people to approach you then? What's the correct way? Because my, I would have thought you know, a presentation I don't, in the email. I don't think I should say that, because if you know and you're real about your, your you would know how to come yeah. across. If you're messaging, I don't know who, uh, proper company. There's a certain way you're gonna come across. Yes. But don't think because oh yeah I know this guy from socials that means that no, you can just come like that. Yeah. When it comes to money, because it's not just me that's different. looking at it's I I got investor friends and I might not like it but I could pass it on to my investor friends. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They got different kind of money as well. So do you know what I mean? So yeah, but yeah. it's me that'll be like you know what this ain't for me. Let me pass it on to to them man there that could. Do you know what I mean? So and that's based on how you come across. I can't remember, yeah, there was this one, one young girl, she, um, what was it? I can't remember what it was. I think it was a flower, flower, something, something like yeah. that. But um, it's the way she, it was the way she came across. I personally didn't believe in it. I knew, I didn't feel it to be, and I don't think it went, but like, it's the way she came across and she was passionate about it. And then I passed it on to, to my friend. I was like, yeah, man. Aww. But yeah, but to be I fair, mine's more um, property safe. Is it though? You know, you we're, know about, we're about to have a. Now, like, I'm, I want to buy my apartment, mm. but I'm waiting for the market to crash. Mm. <laughs> I want to get it in before. I don't know if that's smart or not. That's what I'm saying. I'm Once like, you know, you know, it's that stuff when you know, you know. It's like, let's say you're buying at the dip and all that stuff. It's just, there's, with anything, that, if you don't know, there's ways. Like right now, all my investor friends are excited because there's recession, and that means That's when. What I was so I'm saying when there's low, people are like, get excited because they know what they know and they know what to put in, and like they take their money out of um, uh, banks or they hold it in. Like cash is king right mm -hmm, now, mm -hmm. so when you got your cash and then things that you can get things at the cheap, and so that's it's just what you know, and yeah, properties is the sound that I've. Is there anything else that you would wanna? go down like um, explore uh investing in um events but like big scale events though man no no like arenas festivals maybe you have to talk to Pac-Man then because we're very much going to be expanding yeah that's 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 a conversation on with time there my two you talk to me about that then my ears you know? I'll do. I'll get him on the phone one day or a meeting so, when yeah. you're free. And you're a busy man. You have to put me in your diary. <laughs> Alright, I've got one more present for you. Okay. Not all my guests will be getting this many presents, let me just say. Oh, I'm, I'm, <laughs> this is me right now. 2023. So, because I got you a candle. Oh, thank you. Because the thesis behind it is that you light up a dark room with your joy, your laughter, your jokes, you know what I mean? Yeah. So every time you light this, it's just to remind you that you light up the room. Thank you. Okay. See, that was worded so well, I love that. Yeah, of course. <laughs> you light up the room. I've been practicing yeah, that. Yeah, no, that was... <laughs> right, thank you. Oh, welcome. Yeah, I love a little, Wait, I love a little. Oh, they're, they're, my mum does the same thing. My does the same thing. Yeah, so, oh, uh, thank you, man. It means a lot. I appreciate no it. No problem. Get back to the family. So no, I just, I, yeah, you. no, thank you, because, that uh, you know, it's not everyone that I... I mean, you said no one, so... No, just, literally. This is an exclusive, okay? Literally. But I've got an exclusive. I can't believe this. <laughs> <laughs> this is a moment I won't forget. No, thank you. Man. I'm thank so you. humbled and I'm oh. so grateful, and I really hope to meet you again soon and see your next ventures. I can't wait to see what you've got going on next year. Yeah. I'll definitely be voting. Thank you. Thank you. And I just wish you all the best. And I wish you all the best. Thank yeah. you. Look out for Coco. Yeah. Doing our <laughs> thing. Support. We've got to support one another. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Who is your best friend? I don't know. my missus. That's nice. That's the correct answer. No, I, this is literally how I feel. That's the correct my answer. My missus or my cousin. Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah, them two, they're mine. These are the two who got your back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the way it should be. Okay, cool.